I'm delighted that we're uh, at this stage in our journey uh, of quality improvement. To have a three-year strategy, uh, very clearly articulating what we intend to achieve over those three years, uh, ambitious goals and targets as they should be, I think is great. Three clear uh, areas of focus within the strategy, the safety of the care we provide, the clinical effectiveness of that care, and really importantly, the patient experience. I'm particularly pleased that it's come together through engagement of our patients, carers and staff, and I think therefore bodes really well for helping us continue this critically important improvement journey. So the quality improvement strategy really allows staff to own the improvements that they need to make in their own areas to improve patient safety, patient experience and the effectiveness of the services we provide. And patient experience is one of the most integral parts of what we do. You know, of course we want people to have the best up-to-date treatment that they can, but we want it done with care and compassion. The ward feels safe, the care's really good, we get lots of compliments. Um, and I echo that yeah. with Jane, I look after people the way I'd want my own family members to be looked after and that is carried on through the rest of the staff. I feel we all do that and the feedback from patients and their relatives echoes what we do. Not just a, a number, not just a tick box, there's somebody they really care about. Sometimes they want somebody to pour their out at how to. So um, listening to my patient, helping me um, learn and also build positivity from them and be able to look after them means a lot to me. It's, it's, I found that it helps me um, improve patient's experience whilst on the ward. So it's, it's beyond really just coming to check blood pressure, administering medication. They always seem so very grateful, so I come away thinking, yeah, I'm doing a good thing, you know, it's, it's very rewarding, it really is, yeah. We see that the patients are experiencing that good care. As part of the quality audits, I get to look at patient records, I get to meet a couple of patients, talk to them about how their care has been on the wards, and really start to triangulate that information that we see at the executive team and the board about the key performance indicators, and actually how that is being handled out in the wards themselves. We are seeing improved quality in the organisation, particularly in the last few months we've been working with the Quality Hub and they have enabled us to go in to do audits to the patients. If we can get the patient experience right for people with a learning disability, then we can get it right for everybody. They're a really vulnerable client group and if we can get that right, it's transferable to anyone else because it shows that they care and that the patients are real people. It's that time that they can spend, they can listen, they listen to the patient's needs. I would say that the quality here is a very high standard, everybody's eager to deliver the best care and I would let my loved ones be cared for here as well. Our quality improvement strategy has been about identifying what's important for patients, their carers, our staff and the community 
and what's important for our patients and their carers and our staff is important to us. And therefore that has been the foundations of which we've built our strategy from. I would encourage um, everyone um, to get involved with the strategy going forward over the next three years. Everybody plays such an important part within it in ensuring that we can be the best we can be and making sure that our patients and their carers and their loved ones have the best experience they possibly can be when they come through our hospital for their care.